Um, you know, it was a great feeling, you know, being hearing my name called at the draft and knowing that I'm coming to play for the Fever um, alongside Tamika Ketchin. So uh, it was a great feeling just knowing I'm a part of the family now. For people who haven't watched you, what's your game about? Tell us about your game. Um, you know, just hard nose, get after it. Um, you know, I compete, you know, every time I step in between the lines. So that's pretty much what I'm going to give you every time I step on the court. You're joining a team that was in the finals last year. How exciting is that to be what you would hope is a very good organization with a very good team? It is very exciting. You know, um, they have a great fan base here, so uh, I'm excited to join it and to, to be a part of such great fans. Definitely, like you said, she's a legend. Um, you know, so I'm sure it'll be an emotional roller coaster throughout the season, but I'm just happy to be a part of this journey with her. Was there any, that's to make a catch? <laughs> um, at first, um, when I was at orientation, the WNBA orientation, when I first met her, uh, it was kind of cool you know, being able to talk to her. Um, and then after I got drafted, she, she texted me and called me. So it was kind of like a, a shock at first. I can't believe Tamika Ketchins called me, but uh, you know, I kind of calmed down a little bit now that we're out here playing. What's it like just to be a professional basketball player? Uh, it's a great, it's great. Uh, just knowing you worked your whole life to, to get to this point and to finally call myself a professional. Uh, it's a great feeling, so I'm just excited to get going. Definitely. Uh, it's a family atmosphere. I left a family atmosphere in South Carolina to, to come join one, so it's a great feeling and an easy transition. If I've never played hard a day in my life, um, this is the year that you guys are going to see me uh, just get after it. It's emotional <laughs> for you. Yeah, I've been here. Catch has been here with me. This is going on my fifth season. And uh, just a great person. Uh, on and off the court, she gives back to the community. She's selfless. And uh, we're going to really miss her. And so you want it to be very special. You want it to be as good as it can possibly be. Very special. Hopefully Cinderella, you know. Um, I don't know what people expect from us this year. We have new faces. They haven't seen us play yet, but uh, we're hoping to give Indiana a great show. Uh, try not to be as hard on myself. Last year was very disappointing, coming off a knee injury, having knee surgery after the season, and just trying to come back and maintain and um, I guess kind of play where I left off. Hard to come in on a, such a beautiful day and, and get to work and think the season's that close? No, nah, it was like about time. You know, you have the jitters, but you're also ready to come back, to, to get back in your locker, to look at the same people every day, and to just go after it um, day after day for one another. Um, I put a blog out today on a sports blog, tweakacatching.sportsblog.com. But uh, I put that out there real quick. Um, but yeah, I woke up this morning, kind of like laying in bed, like I leaned over to part now. I was like, ah, like this is my last first day. And then I started laughing. I was like, it's kind of like that last day of school <laughs> or the first day or the last day. This is my senior year and I know I'm going to be graduating. And, you know, so this is kind of like the last time. You don't have senioritis yet. No, I don't. No, this, we're just getting started. So check in with me halfway down. <laughs> no, I'm excited. I mean, we got a great group of ladies and today's practice, the first one, um, went really, really well. And, I mean, we still got some players that are uh, overseas, obviously aren't here yet playing. But, um, but the ones that are here, you know, I'm excited about them being here. They're ready to learn. They're anxious. Remind me of myself you know, coming in and just like wide eyes, like, okay, like, what do you expect coming straight from college? And so um, they had a great practice today and we'll continue to get better. It's a special thing as long as you played and to go out like this and to know you're going out mm -hmm. and so that, you know, everything's going to be a last stop here, a last game here, all those kind of things. How do you keep that balance so it, that you don't honestly become a distraction or doesn't become all about Tamika. Yeah, um, I think that's really important too, you know, but the biggest thing for me right now is focusing on with this team, I mean, building more leaders and having other people step up to the plate and kind of do their thing and lead our team. And so it starts from in practice, start today, you know, day one, Larkin stepping up and talking and Bree kind of putting her hand around everybody and, you know, I mean, down the road, lay and down the line, like every single person that was here previously kind of stepped up at some point in time during practice. And that's what it starts with. Then from there, you know, I, I do think that with the legacy tours and everything else that we have going on, you know, just really trying to, um, I guess control what we can, control the environment as much as we can. But I mean, that's going to be hard. But I mean, really trying to keep us close in the locker room and keep us close when we're out there on the court, and all the extra stuff will take care of itself.